capital funding drought is not over yet, at least according to PitchBook. But SoftBank bucking the trend with a new investment just weeks after promising to go on the offensive. Our Deirdre Bosa has more in today's Tech Check. Morning, D. Good morning, Carl. Well, so there are these pockets of activity, generative AI being the hottest space, of course. But overall, the funding environment for startups and VCs themselves, it does remain tight. Looking at first half data from PitchBook, deal activity continues to be subdued. Startups, especially at the earliest stages, they're seeing less funding. VCs and growth investors are also raising less money. In fact, they're on track for the lowest fundraising total since 2017. SoftBank, though, is not sitting on the sidelines any longer. Founder and CEO Masayoshi San a few weeks ago, you might remember, he said that they're going back on the offensive after being in defense mode over the past few years and overseeing massive losses at the Vision Funds. True to his word, Japanese robotics startup Telexistence announcing this week that it has raised $170 million in a Series B round from a group including SoftBank. Now, this all raises the question, could this be the beginning of Masa's return? That is, his aggressive investment playbook that bit up WeWork and Uber to peak valuations, but eventually led to tens of billions of dollars of losses for the fund. Or will his approach be more disciplined this time around? So a lot of that may depend on ARM and how much investors will decide it is worth SoftBank still looking to IPO the chip company this year. And between the generative AI hype in which ARM plays a key role and public chip makers performance this year, it could be a lucrative source of cash to pursue more deals. And guys, there's a potentially new development this morning in Ant Group getting a nearly billion dollar fine from the Chinese authorities. It's a lot, but it also potentially clears the way for its eventual IPO. And that could indirectly help SoftBank because, stay with me, Alibaba owns a third of Ant. SoftBank has a stake in Alibaba, though that has been reduced in recent years. But that share price bump that we're seeing today of 8% is good news for Masa, San and Co. And Co. I